Oh, the first world issues of a YouTuber. You come back, your footage is all done, you import this video, which is the second time I'm making it now, and there's no audio, mic issues. So hopefully it's gonna be fine this time because I have addressed the mic issues where it seems so, but we shall see. So the topic of the video is, do I wear sunscreen in Thailand? People ask me this question time and time again. If you didn't know, I've lived in Thailand for over four years now, and as pretty much everyone knows, Thailand is a very hot tropical climate in Southeast Asia. So this is why people ask me this question time and time again. So I wanted to say, no, I do not wear sunscreen whatsoever. I never have done in Thailand and I never will. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory to explain why I don't use sunscreen. So back in 2012, when I first started wanting to live a more healthy conscious lifestyle, I just naturally had this desire to get rid of all the chemicals in my lifestyle as much as possible because you can't avoid them completely because you're gonna get pesticides on your food and other certain things that are unavoidable, but you can do the best you can do. So I got rid of all my chemical filled bathroom and wash products completely and switched to like all organic natural ones. And then over time I started making my own because I realized that I could make them way more cheaper and way better in the comfort of my own home. And then in about 2014, I just naturally went in the direction of wanting to use nothing whatsoever. So not having to buy anything, rely on a company and not making anything whatsoever. And I'm someone that lives a minimalist lifestyle. So this would come under that. Only having things that are absolutely necessary. So I got rid of every bathroom and wash product except for cleaning my teeth with a natural toothpaste, which is by Uncle Harry's, which has had things like colloidal silver in there, ionic minerals, bentonite clay and other things that remineralize your teeth, whiten your teeth, tighten your gums, give you better gum health and just oral health overall. And something that's brilliant about it, it comes in a glass jar rather than a plastic container, which is bad for the environment, bad for you, because when you have toothpaste in plastic containers, it leaches out so many different toxic substances, such as xenoestrogen into toothpaste, and it goes in your mouth, you absorb it, and then it has a negative effect on your hormone production, mental health, and physical health, holistically, which you don't want. If you're interested in that toothpaste, I will put a link for it down below. So also on that journey, around the same time, I discontinued using sunscreen, even the natural one completely. You may be thinking, well, you must be crazy doing that, being in Thailand. And no, I am not whatsoever. When I first come here, I did go out on my road bike and got stuck somewhere, my tire burst, and I got really, really burnt. And then for a few days, I got a big umbrella cycling around on my road bike to make sure I didn't get burnt any further. And yeah, what I say is, I am just mindful about the amount of sun exposure I have, which I am out in direct sunlight now. It's like the middle of the day, so it's like the peak heat of the day with the sunlight just beaming so hot and yes if i was just not being mindful and i just kept staying out for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours yes i would get burnt but it's all about alongside being mindful is just being aware that your body will adapt in our natural habitat we wouldn't have had sunscreen or like loads of clothes and stuff like that so yes you would have been born into this world with paler skin but then as you have more and more sun and you make sure that you don't get burnt, sometimes you may do, but you just do your best not to, you just start increasing the amount of time that you expose your skin to the sun and it adapts more and more and more. And if you see people, for example, in Thailand, that work on the roads and the streets, they are so brown. They almost look like African people. Their skin isn't completely black at all, but it is just so, so dark. But what you also notice with a lot of Thai people as well is they have very, very pale skin. Because the thing in Thailand is people in Thailand see Westerners as rich people. And what color skin do most Westerners have? Pale skin. So if you go and watch Thai TV, for example, they pretty much all look as white as ghosts. Some even gray. A lot of them use makeup. There's also injections that they use and other different things that are unhealthy for them and so on. But yeah, that's a topic for another video. You can do your own research into that if you want to learn more about that. And as we know, most Westerns don't want to come to countries like this and get a suntan. <laughs> and yeah, again, people who are Westerners and getting a suntan, 
they're more well-off people that can afford to have holidays but yeah I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here so I get on track but yeah one I don't want to be using a sunscreen on me because I live a minimalist lifestyle and I don't feel that it's absolute necessary whatsoever and I'm telling you almost every sunscreen out there that most people are using are full of so many different toxic chemicals that are carcinogenic and increase estrogen production within the body lower testosterone and have a whole host of other negative effects so it's just giving your body so much toxicity build up in the body for applying that to your skin on a regular basis and it actually stops your body being able to naturally produce vitamin D which is actually not given to you from the Sun but when you come into contact with the Sun your body naturally produces vitamin D which is actually a hormone not a vitamin and vitamin D is key for you to rid yourself of mental health issues and optimize your cognitive functions and your mental health and your energy levels and your mood and a whole host of other amazing different benefits as well and wow I didn't come out with shoes on so this <laughs> floor is really really hot so I just got on the grass that's so better now Woo! I meant to put my shoes on but I forgot but that's fine and yeah most sunscreens as well they come in these horrible plastic containers and then they're being put into our environment and already the planet and the environment is being destroyed in so many different ways and plastic containing well plastic containers are one of the root causes of that so yeah it's just minimizing the things that I'm buying that have a negative effect on our environment as well and also the majority of sunscreens also tested on animals as well yes you can get vegan ones but even most of the vegan ones still come in bad plastic packaging and normally contain a lot of different toxic substances as well so yeah it's just not necessary for me to have it if it was absolutely necessary then I would but like I said we wouldn't have it in our natural habitats so it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever so many times companies create a product and make you believe that you need it and a lot of people believe if you don't wear sunscreen you get too much sun exposure you end up with things such as skin cancer which is a complete load of misinformation because like I said the sunscreens that they promote have substances in it which are carcinogenic which means they are cancer causing chemicals so it doesn't make any sense to me and I'm sure it won't make any sense to you now I've explained that so oh I'm gonna go back up into my house so yeah I hope this is giving you some insights into why I don't use sunscreen and maybe it will get you to stop using sunscreen and if you feel that you really do need some then just look for some recipes online of like an organic natural non-toxic sunscreen that you can make in the comfort of your own home and put it in a glass container which is the best second option I would say so I'd say the best option is definitely just not using any whatsoever. And then it's another thing, especially if you're someone that travels around like me, one less thing to carry and one thing less to worry about. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Leave them down below. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would like to hear about. Why don't you use sunscreen? And maybe why they potentially would want to go in the direction of also stopping using sunscreen. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. Tomorrow, if you're talking about durian, the world's smelliest fruit, also known as the king of fruits, I'm doing my first calorie challenge video, 10,000 calories of durian. And that's going to be done tomorrow. So you'll see the video in the next like 48 hours. So if you're interested in that, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button. Then you'll be notified of when that new video is uploaded and any future videos as well. And I have many other videos also coming on Calisthenics showing you what I get up to in the day, things about me, weight loss, intermittent fasting, and many other videos as well. So, as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.